Hi guys and welcome to Death Plus, a video game series exploring games about death. My name is Jem and I am a forensic professional. And there are like three cats in my office right now. That's why I'm so close to the camera. One of them's in my chair and she's too cute. I can't move her. Here, I'll show you. Okay, anyway, she'll probably move in a second once I start moving my arms around a little bit more. And, uh, like so. So anyways, the game we're playing today, I'm very excited to bring to you guys. Uh, this is a game that I've been wanting to play ever since I thought about starting this channel, uh, playing games about death. The game is called Grim Fandango. And you might have heard of it before because it is an older game. It was released in 1998 by LucasArts. And it's considered one of the first adventure games or uh, sort of like point and click tank controly type games about death. Um, it follows a Grim Reaper um, going through a little adventure of his own. The game is a little more cinematic. It's considered to be a piece of modern art. Um, as it were, but I'm very excited to share it with you guys and go through it the first time with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well... The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. ¿Qué es esto?
Okay. Well, that was fun and exciting. Uh, his little stilts coming off is so funny. Um, okay, so we're just going to jump right into it. I'm actually going to look at the settings. So this is a remastered version of the 19... 98 version and something that i thought was really cool was that the original version was one of the first games that lucasstars uh, made that utilized 3d models in front of a rendered background so that's what we're looking at here the the model has been um redone remastered so it's very crispy looking but then the background is you know has that <laughs> has that 90s crunch to it uh, that 90s stank if you will um, but I saw in the settings there was a little something that we could look at here, so... Okay, so here's here's the 90s tank in the 3D models as well. I'm not sure... I'm not sure about this, but I think I might keep it for now. Um, we can always change it back later if we need to, right? Okay, so let's get started. And we are using tank controls as well, which is super fun. Alright, let's pick up this thingy. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Whatever you say, Hiffy. That voice sounds so familiar. No idea who it might be, though. All right, let's get these tank controls going, huh? What's over here? Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Okay, some playing cards. It's an inventory. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. That's the card we just got. Okay. I like that the scythe, the scythe folds up into his jacket. That's pretty funny. Alright, let's get out of here. Hello. This game does not automatically save. Very important. I will not quit without saving. I'm pretty bad at saving when the game doesn't save for me, so hopefully I don't mess this up. But if I do, it's not my fault. All right. Hello. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Um, what poisoning? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> oh, in my heart that you're still my secretary. Mm. Okay, let's cover something right now. This game has elements that probably have not aged super well. So keep that in mind, but we're not gonna select that option. Um okay, well, goodbye. I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Love it. Thank you, bye. Okay. He's looking this way. I'm gonna go in there and see. Oh, Okay, we made it to the garage. I don't think we can go this way, huh? I really don't think there's a sprint button. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. The driver demons? We'll get there eventually. I don't know. There's probably... Oh! Wow, look at that. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh my god. Um... Anyone home? Hey! 
service. Hey, who the? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this what? part of the garage. Who? What? Who are you? All right, back in the shack, Mac. Um, I. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many Gladys. visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? No, it wasn't nice. Um, are you a driver? Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Uh, Gladys, Gladys, is that a German name? Gladys, Gladys, is that a German name? Oh no, my roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. Alien. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and Alien. given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Okay, well, looks like I need a new driver. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Rules. Come on. Come, Come on, on. Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm. I'm. I'm too big. Um, you're not too big. You're just right. You have a self image problem. Aw. You're not too big. The cars are just you're too not small. Too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey! That gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'm, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Okay, bye. <laughs> wow, that was something. Um, who do I have to sign this? Let's see. Let's see what it I've is. Gotta get this work order signed. Signed by the boss? I thought your boss was on vacation. Alright, let's get going. Or like his boss. Okay. Oh. Excuse me. Um. Maybe. I don't really see anyone else. Maybe they're in here. Hello, can you help me? I really need a boss to, yeah, this is what Maybe I need. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Uh, I'm not until I get this signed. What should I do? I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes, no, but I'd like to hear it for kicks. I just want to know where my driver is. I like the no, second one. No, but I'd like one. to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. 
would we just skip town tonight? No. Um. Why do some clients call? Because they have more money. We're gonna ask well, about, job. about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting, except I don't get to watch TV. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I feel that. Um, what did you do in life to so get stuck here? what did you here? do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. All right. That's fair. Goodbye. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. <laughs> I got an achievement for that conversation. Um, shoot. What do I do here? Hmm... Maybe this door here. I'm not really sure. Can I, like, go knock on his door? That's this one here, right? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Mm hmm. Well. Let's go out this door and see what's up. So far, I really like the music. I really like the style. I d I'm not really a fan of the clipping or glitching against the wall. It is funny, though. Okay, that's where we came from. Go this way. It's locked. Slowly turn around. Tank controls, here we come. Can I go across? Yeah. Right, so this is what I saw earlier. Good afternoon. <laughs> Honey. It's locked. I gotta do like a five point turn here. Hold on, let's get going. Oh. Okay, we're outside. Can we take this car? Check out this car, my friend. Hi, Soup. Soup is back, guys. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Okay, so we definitely need our driver. Let's go down the street. Maybe... I have no idea. Can we walk there? Oh. Um... Can you drive cars? <laughs> Let's go check this out. I guess I could have run there. I have this idea that it's an old game, so everything is slow. Soup wants to play the game, too. Here, let's see. All right, what's this guy have to say? This guy also, by the way, terrifying. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, Soup. I'm practicing. Um, he's not very joyous. Can I walk through your tent? I, I want to see the parade. Tent. I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? <laughs> he doesn't what? like it. Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Um. Can you teach me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Bang! Ah! Pop another <laughs> one. Lousy, <laughs> bony fingers! Sorry. Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? I bet you can't do a cat. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead, name one. Okay, a cat, bingo, a dead worm. <laughs> Robert Frost. 
We're making Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Comment below if you guys know who Robert Frost is. <laughs> Ta -da. We got a lousy balloon. Here, it slowly turns so we can see Robert Frost. Oh my god. Do you guys see this? Does that look like Robert Frost? What do you guys think? Alright, I wasn't done talking to this guy. We can go back. Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? Okay, I guess we're done talking to this guy. I'm gonna keep that for a little while, just in my jacket. Okay. I don't think there's a way for us to get through. Let's see here. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. You just take that? Um, okay, quickly put it in your... Put it in your suit. Okay, I did not choose to steal that, just for the record. Okay, I don't think we can get in here right now. I don't think... No, we can't really go that way. Well, there's this alleyway. Maybe we can go around the back? Let's see here. Thankfully, we're tank control, so I can play this game with one hand. What's this? Oh. You're just gonna climb it? Oh my god, please don't fall off. We're going inside. Oh my god. I don't think I can fall off, but I don't want to I don't want to try it. I don't have a net or a desire to have a pet pigeon. Okay. You know who would love a pet pigeon? Probably Soup. Alright. Where are we? He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. Who? Did I miss something? Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey! Work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. Well, that did sound like him. So I guess this is the boss? It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Uh. Interesting. It'll have to wait in the middle of airport meeting, whatever it is, it'll have to wait, not now, Eva. Oh, her name is Eva down there. I'll just change his auto response here. It'll have to wait! I'm in the middle of a very important meeting! There's no, like, ah, oh, that's... I'm not really sure what to do here. Maybe we'll have to come back and change it later. I gotta do my five point turn here. Hold on. Well, let's see what else is here. Maybe there's like a stamp. I would love to search signature. Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. We have to. Bro, we're trying to get a signature so you can get to the poisoning. What's over here? If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. Well, yeah. Do I need to maybe select something, whatever it is, it will have to wait. No interruptions. No very hard meeting, not now, Eva. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Very hard meeting. Um Not now, Ava! I guess let's try that one. I don't really 
This might be a little bit of trial and error. I guess we can. Can I? Look I would love again? to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Yeah, dude, we're trying to get that signature. Can I get to that ladder somehow? Oh. Um, I can't move. Huh. No, I really can't do anything with that right now. All right, well. Can we walk this way? Oh, jeez. Holy macaroni. I do not love this. Hmm, okay. Well, let's maybe go back to the front desk and see if there's anything that's changed up there. I bet it's something to do with changing that message somehow. Office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. <laughs> if I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. It'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. Eh, sorry, Cal. Hmm. I think it is something to do with that. Just one more question about my job. Mm-hmm. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Yeah, what okay. If we just skip town tonight. You and me, baby. <laughs> well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But in one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Um, can I walk Where to here? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. I told you I don't have one. All right, well, let's change the message. The I'll see you guys in a second. We're going to go do that. All right, guys. So very sadly, I just saw these four options initially. I didn't realize that there were more. So I had to come back and look. Ah, crap, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Ava, please. I just need a little time alone. Tell them the checks aren't here yet. I'm on the phone. If he buzz me again, I'll swear to him out this window. Are you trying to lose your job? Wow. Okay, that was funny. So obviously we need the one that she's gonna sign it for us. Alright, let's go back. Okay, I'm back. Let's if try this I one really more time. Need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! <laughs> You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. I love her. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> he put his tilts back on. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? 
Yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving! Yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Excuse me? Oh, your friends. Domino. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. Yeah, I'd say so. Well, on that note, I think we're going to leave it here, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and Shook. Are you awake finally? She had a good time, I think. Uh, we're going to continue this game. So far, it's been really interesting. Uh, I think this is probably the most interesting part so far. So definitely stay tuned, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye.